Hey there, folks. Today, I want to talk about one of my all-time favorite comedians, the late great Bernie Mac. If you've never heard of him, well, you're in for a treat. This guy was a master of his craft, a true comedic genius who could make you laugh until you cried. But he was more than just a funny man. He was a family man, a devoted husband, and father who always put his loved ones first. In this video, I want to take a trip down memory lane and remember the life and legacy of Bernie Mac. We'll talk about his rise to fame, from his humble beginnings in Chicago to becoming one of the biggest names in comedy. So buckle up and get ready to laugh, cry, and be inspired by the incredible story of Bernie Mac. Bernie Mac, folks, if you don't know who this guy is, you're seriously missing out on some of the funniest comedies out there. Let me give you a little rundown of who Bernie Mac was and what made him such a legend in the world of comedy. Bernie Mac was born in Chicago in 1957, and he grew up in a tough neighborhood on the city's south side. But even as a kid, he had a gift for making people laugh. He would entertain his classmates with his hilarious impressions of his teachers, and he quickly realized that comedy was his calling. Fast forward a few years, and Bernie Mac was making a name for himself on the comedy circuit. He was known for his bold, no-holds-barred style of humor, and he wasn't afraid to tackle controversial topics or push boundaries. Let's get deeper to Bernie's family life. This man loved his family more than anything in the world, and it showed in everything he did. Bernie Mac married his wife Rhonda in 1977, and they were together for over 30 years until his passing in 2008. Together, they had one daughter, Janice, who was the light of their lives. Bernie was always open about his love for his family, and he often incorporated them into his comedy routines. In fact, one of Bernie's most famous bits was his I Ain't Scared of You routine, where he talked about his family and his upbringing. He would joke about how his mother used to beat him with extension cords and broomsticks, but he also talked about how much he loved her and how she had taught him the value of hard work. But Bernie's family life wasn't without its struggles. In his autobiography, Maybe You Never Cry Again, he opened up about his battles with addiction and how they had affected his relationships with his family. Despite the ups and downs, Bernie's family remained his top priority. Now Bernie's career life. This guy was an absolute legend, with a career that spanned several decades and left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. His stand-up routines were legendary, and his work in movies and TV shows was always top-notch. But before he became a household name, he had to work his way up the ladder like everyone else. Bernie Mac got his start in comedy in the 1980s, performing at various clubs in Chicago. His talent didn't go unnoticed, and he soon began getting gigs at bigger and more prestigious venues. But it wasn't until the early 1990s that Bernie Mac really hit his stride. He began appearing on the HBO series Def Comedy Jam, which was a huge platform for up-and-coming comedians at the time. His performances on the show were electric, and he quickly became one of the most popular and sought-after comics in the country. From there, Bernie Mac's career really took off. He landed his first movie role in 1992, appearing alongside Damon Wayans in Mo Money. He continued to hone his craft as a stand-up comedian, releasing several successful comedy albums and performing sold-out shows all over the world. But it was his work in movies and TV shows that really made Bernie Mac a household name. In 2001, he landed his own TV show, The Bernie Mac Show, which was a huge hit with audiences and critics alike. The show ran for five seasons and earned Bernie Mac numerous awards and accolades, including an Emmy for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Comedy Series. Sadly, Bernie Mac's career was cut short when he passed away in 2008 at the age of 50. But even in death, his impact on the world of comedy is still felt to this day. Let's get to his love life. This guy was not only a comedic genius, but also a devoted family man who loved his wife and daughter with all of his heart. But let me tell you, he had some hilarious stories to tell about his romantic escapades over the years. Bernie met his wife Rhonda in 1977, and it was love at first sight. He was performing at a club in Chicago when he saw her in the audience, and he knew he had to meet her. He asked her out, and the rest is history. But before he met Rhonda, Bernie had a few interesting experiences in the dating world. He once talked about how he used to have a little black book with all of his potential love interest's phone numbers in it. He said he had so many numbers that he couldn't remember which woman was which, so he had to come up with a unique way to keep them straight. He would give each woman a nickname based on their phone number so he could easily remember who was who. Bernie also loved to joke about his past relationships, and he wasn't afraid to make fun of himself in the process. 
He once talked about how he used to be a ladies' man, but he wasn't very good at it. He said he would try to be smooth and suave, but he always ended up saying something ridiculous that would ruin the mood. Despite his past experiences, Bernie was a faithful and loving husband to Rhonda. He often talked about how much he adored her, and he wasn't afraid to show his affection in public. He once said, My wife is the greatest thing that ever happened to me. She's my backbone. She's my best friend. She's my everything. Finally, let's go to Bernie's achievements. As Bernie Mac once said, I came from nothing, and I mean nothing. But that don't mean nothing. You can be something. Bernie Mac's stand-up career eventually led to a successful TV show, The Bernie Mac Show, which earned him critical acclaim and multiple awards, including an Emmy for Outstanding Writing for a Comedy Series. Aside from his comedy career, Bernie Mac was also an accomplished actor. He appeared in numerous films, including The Ocean's Trilogy and Bad Santa. He even landed a starring role in the 2005 biopic Mr. 3000, in which he played a retired baseball player attempting to regain his former glory. But perhaps Bernie Mac's greatest achievement was his ability to bring people together through his comedy. As he once said, laughter is healing. It's something that bonds people together. It's a universal language. As someone who has always been a huge fan of Bernie Mac, I have to say that his achievements are truly impressive. He was a gifted comedian, actor, and all-around entertainer, and he left an indelible mark on the world of comedy. As he once famously said, I ain't scared of you in word, and we'll never forget him for it. Bernie Mac was more than just a comedian. He was a family man, a trailblazer, and an inspiration to many. So let's remember Bernie Mac for the incredible comedian and human being that he was. And let's take a page out of his book and strive to make people happy, to be fearless and confident, and to never be afraid to chase our dreams. Rest in peace, Bernie Mac. What do you think about this topic? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. I'll see you in the next video.